what is data about, what is changing. Currently we have a huge amount of data, data being collected overall uh, and to be taking advantage of that uh, for research is advancing of course the speed of, of scientific uh, knowledge making uh, and then also making it possible to address some of the grand challenges of, of the society related to sustainability, related to equity, the fairness of, of society and positive uh, development. Uh, in the world. So the data, the data uh, grown into our our mindset as a very valuable asset, uh, something a decade ago, and uh, or a few decades ago, and now we achieved the, the starting point that how the data makes the difference. I think that this discussion is just starting and we're evolving. We are far, far from the reflection uh, inflection point. Uh, what is important to know about the data, the data can describe anything. It's very common, like the electrons in the electricity uh, or the atoms in the chemistry. Uh, so data is the smallest particle. We have to be very careful how we use it because it can be used for a good targets or for the bad target, but it definitely can make the difference. So RDA as an organization is about to make awareness about the data in general. Currently, the data uh, can only be trusted when we know the source of the data, when the data is well managed, when we can actually, when we find it, that we can understand where it comes from, how it was processed. The, this requires good data management, and data management is mostly a manual process, which is solely a responsibility of researchers. RDA has created a common standard for machine actionable data management plans that helps us automate the tasks that researchers are responsible for and allows us to trigger actions in systems supporting the researchers so that the data can be better managed, better documented, easier found, and that's how the research can make the difference by providing better data and better documented data. There's a long history of data movement in, in the national and international infrastructures. Um, and this has been going on for quite some time. However, the consistency that is provided by RDA outputs um, and the uh, mission of providing data sharing across borders helps the infrastructures come to a single uh, um, way to interact with data. So the major output that we've seen in this area is with respect to the co-data or DA research data science schools. So over the last three years we've taught something like 400 students on three different continents. Those students have been drawn from something like 40 different countries. So even that is an extraordinary impact. I think the one I'd like to, to point out in particular is we had a student who was based um, uh, in Colombia who attended one of our schools and through that he made contact with one of our, lecture, one of our lecturers, Rob Quick, who was able to put him into touch with uh, other researchers who had significant amount of computing resource. On the basis of that, the lab that this student was based in was able to get something like six papers written in this particular topic. Bringing together the data sharing into a single method um, and a single organization helps the infrastructures interact with data, which is at the core of all uh, um, scientific analysis.